In our last video, we talked about how the profitability of holding a 2x long levered ETF for longer than one day causes its performance to diverge from simply levering up the underlying 2 to 1 on your own. And the graph in front of you shows a very similar scenario to the one that we showed in the previous video. The green line over here shows changes in the price of the underlying. And so the underlying on day one starts off at $100, and then on day two goes to $105, and then on day three back to $100, and then $105, and so on. And so at the same time, you can see that the P&L from buying a 2x long levered ETF, which is in red, goes up from 100 to 110 on the first day, thereby giving you twice the return of the underlying on that day. You can also see that the P&L from just levering up 2 to 1 the underlying yourself, which is in blue, also on the first day goes up by $10, which is also twice the return of the underlying on that day. But as you can see, the red and the blue line start to diverge after day one. And this is what we talked about in the previous video, which is if the underlying is following a path where it goes up and then goes down and then goes up and then goes down, you would expect holding a 2x long levered ETF to underperform, simply levering up the underlying 2 to 1 on your own. And we can see this on the graph over here. By day six, the red line is below the blue line, and therefore holding a 2x long levered ETF that promises you twice the daily returns of the underlying will cause you to underperform just simply levering up the underlying 2 to 1 on your own. Now here's the same graph, but all I've done is that I've changed the number of days that this graph goes on for from 6 days to 100 days. And as we can see, as the number of days increases, the discrepancy between the blue line and the red line increases. And you can see this because the distance between the blue and red line increases as the number of days also increases. So the point is, if the underlying is following this pattern, the longer you hold the 2x long levered ETF, the more you'll underperform simply levering up the underlying 2 to 1 on your own. Now what will happen if the underlying follows a different path? In the graph in front of you, we've assumed that the underlying just goes up by a steady amount every single day. It never goes down. So the green line over here shows the underlying, and as we can see, the red line outperforms the blue line. And so what that means is that the profitability of buying and holding a 2x long levered ETF is higher than simply levering up the underlying 2 to 1 on your own. And the reason for this is, if you remember from our previous video, the fund manager has to buy more of the underlying when the underlying goes up and sell more of the underlying when the underlying goes down. And because the manager is always buying more of the underlying on every given day because the underlying is going up steadily, the profitability of holding the ETF is higher than simply levering up the underlying 2 to 1 on your own because when you lever up the underlying, you don't buy any more of it after day one. Whereas with the ETF, the manager buys more of the underlying as every day goes on. And since the underlying just keeps going up and up steadily, the profitability of doing that, of buying more of the underlying, is positive. And that's why in this scenario, holding the ETF outperforms simply levering up the underlying two to one. And the other thing you'll notice is that as time goes on, the discrepancy between the red line and the blue line over here increases. So as long as the underlying keeps steadily going up, holding the ETF will generally outperform simply levering up the underlying on your own. Now if we look at a scenario where the underlying is steadily going down every day, like this green line over here, it's just steadily going down, we'll notice that the red line is above the blue line, meaning that holding the ETF outperforms simply levering up the underlying 2 to 1 on your own. And the reason for this is similar. Because when you lever up the underlying on your own, you basically borrow a whole bunch of money and then buy the underlying, and then after that do nothing. Whereas if you give your money to an ETF manager, he will be selling more of the underlying as the price goes down. What that means is that as each day goes on and the underlying steadily decreases in value, the ETF manager will be selling more and more of the underlying. And because the price of the underlying is going down, that will be a profitable trade. 
The other way to think about it is because the ETF manager is selling more of the underlying, he's effectively reducing his exposure as the number of days goes on. So we can see that as the number of days increases, the amount by which the ETF manager outperforms simply levering up the underlying on your own increases. So in the next video, we'll examine other factors that also determine whether or not the levered ETF will underperform or outperform simply levering up the underlying on your own.